Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to watch the possession and eat some spaghetti. So won't you join me? Mmm, yummy. Look at that nice, yummy looking bowl of spaghetti with meatballs. <laughs> I'm ready to dig in. Dad, you scared me. <laughs> Dad, you scared me. Dad, you scared me. <laughs> Dad, you scared me. Hey guys, back again with another mukbang eating show, and I'm getting ready to dig in. <laughs> These spaghettis were brought to me by our neighbor. He's always bringing us food, and he's so nice. Mm. He brought it last night. But I was cooking already like a nice bowl of chili for the family. So I saved this for lunch today. Mmm. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. He's very kind. Yeah. He's always bringing us food. Which one do you think is a better slope? Stop the killing, eat vegetables, or when you eat animals, you become one? So. First of all, that is awesome. But I'm going to say, as far as slogans go, I don't know if you guys yes, seen this movie awesome. before, but it's a really good movie. It's based on a true story, and it's about a family who like buys a Dybbuk box, and like the Dybbuk box has like some curse attached to it or something, and like the little girl gets possessed. I made a video a while back. It was a mukbang. If you look it up, you will see me talking more about the Dybbuk box and the whole thing about the curse. And I even showed pictures at the end of the mukbang. But yeah, it's a really good movie. I like it. It's pretty creepy. <laughs> Okay. Um, wow, these are really good. So I know I did a spaghetti mukbang recently. But hey, I couldn't let this yes. go to waste. Okay. So yeah, in the movie. The dad takes like his daughters to like a garage sale or something. And somebody was like trying to get rid of the Dybbuk box, so they were um they were trying to sell it. Hold on. Got my screen dirty there. <laughs> I guess the the spaghetti sauce splattered on my phone. <laughs> Let me see if can make it clear. Okay. Um, so anyway, yeah. So in the movie, the um, the dad takes like the girls to a garage sale. And they were selling the Dybbuk boxes. I guess they were trying to get rid of it. So yeah, and that mukbang that I made. I forgot which mukbang it was. But if you... Search my name on YouTube, put Team Dave, Team Dave and Mon, and then you type Dybbuk Box, you will find the video. But I was talking about it because I was watching that show a while back, Deadly Possessions, 
and Zach Bagans, who is the host of Goals Adventures, he opened up a museum and he collects haunted like items and objects and stuff like that. And they took him the Dybbuk box. And they were talking about it. So yeah, and that one mukbang, I was talking about it. So it is a real story. This movie is based on a real story. And it's really scary. If you guys haven't seen it, I totally recommend it. Mm. I have it on DVD though, like not on Blu-ray, but it's still good. The possession. <laughs> I have so many horror movies, you guys. Like I seriously am an addict. I think I need an intervention. <laughs> mm. Oh my god, it's so good. Mm. You can't say so, but that's what I'm saying, sister. For real? You're gonna blame this on me? Yum. Nice, Dad. You're mm. welcome first instead of waiting for the second. I need There's some water. The fortress close behind us, and he's treading on my tail. How was your day today? It was alright. How was yours? I might have to stop the video in a few and then continue because my son's about to get here so my mom's going to drop him off so I'm just waiting for him to knock at the door <laughs> mm. Yeah, so good I wish I had more meatballs. <laughs> Dad, you need dishes. Oh. Okay. I'm thinking now is when they're going to the garage sale. I'm going to show you guys.
a lovely hat. <laughs> Whatever you want, kiddo. Oh, we found a couple things. What's the damage? How about 55? 55. Uh, my daughter should clean me out. I have 48 dollars. We're happy to see you that. You sure? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. So you're getting rid of a lot of stuff. You guys are moving or something? No. We just got a couple of those came up. Oh. Yeah. So he had brought me like um, so, some bread so rolls with this, but I didn't want to eat bread because then I get too full. Like when I mix bread with pasta, I get full right away. So I didn't want to like, you know, leave this delicious bowl of spaghetti. <laughs> The guy in this movie that plays the dad, for some reason, reminds me so much like Robert from Everybody Loves Raymond. <laughs> I don't know if you guys watch that show, but oh my god, I love that show. I forgot the actor's name, Brad something or other. But yeah, he's a really funny character in Everybody Loves Raymond. He plays Robert. <laughs> and the, the dad in this movie looks just like him. Mmm. <laughs> This is so good. So flavorful. He puts like chunks of like garlic. He puts real garlic and real onions in. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Well, obviously they're real. <laughs> I say real because a lot of people use like powdered stuff. But yeah, this has like the actual pieces of like garlic and and onions. Mmm. So tasteful. Mm. I think she's gonna open the box. Hold on. So yeah, the little girl begins to get obsessed with the box. She even sleeps with it. <laughs> a moth, really? The girl screaming because it was a Dad! 
moth on her bed. <laughs> The older sister, not the little one. The little one is like already starting to get like obsessed with the box and everything, and like it's weird. Mm. Oh my god! Can't get over how yummy this is. Mm. I know you guys can see it because the bowl is kind of like high, but. So the little girl's starting to tell her sister, <clears throat> her older sister, that she doesn't feel like her. It's like I think she's trying to change already, and like she's gonna like get possessed and stuff like that. Mm. I wish I could share this yumminess with you guys. <laughs> this is so good. So yummy licious. <laughs> wow, yes, the new house has a pizza tree. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, your outfit is on your bed. And please just your outfit. Oh, Mickey, you're so fine. You're so fine. You blow my mind. Hey, Mickey. Hey, Mickey. <laughs> I don't know why the song the girls listening to reminded me of that song. <laughs> I think I just realized who this actor is. I knew he looked so familiar. Oh my god. <clears throat> you guys, I think this is Negan from The Walking Dead. Oh my god! <laughs> he looks so different. That's definitely him because I remember a lot of people were saying that Negan from The Walking Dead looks like the guy from Everybody Loves Raymond, the, the robber, the brother. Wow, he looks so different. But he looks fuller. His face looks fatter in this movie. Oh my god. I just totally like I saw a close up of him. And when he talked I'm like. That's who he is. Oh my gosh you guys. Not to mention I have a major crush on Negan. <laughs> I know he's supposed to be a bad guy. Everybody hates him in The Walking Dead. <laughs> but. I love his character. He's such an asshole. <laughs> but I really do love his character. Like, his character really spiced up the show because The Walking Dead was already starting to get, like, so boring. Like, I was losing interest. I almost stopped watch watching it. Wow. He looks so different. Perfect definitely different he was he was fatter not fat but fatter he's way skinnier now in the walking dead i can't believe it oh my gosh i finally figured out who he is i was like why does this actor even though he reminds me of robert from everybody loves raymond i was like he he still seems so familiar in his voice you guys, Negan from The Walking Dead. Oh my god, the possession. Now you guys have to see it. <laughs> mm. <Who's there? laughs> I'm still shocked. I can't get over it. It's funny. <laughs> when I'm watching movies with David, this is always us. 
He's always like, oh my god, look who that is. And I'm like, oh my god, look who that is. That's so and so from this other movie. <laughs> we amuse ourselves at the silliest things. Mm. The head, it's like a little. I don't even know. Onion, or I don't know what that was. Oh, yum. So the little girl's sleeping and she feels like she hears voices coming coming from the Dybbuk box. Creepy, like whispering noises, voices. And breakfast is ready. Absolutely delicious. Mm. First, he has to conduct me now, so he's got like the most obnoxious voice ever. I don't know why they don't want to watch it. And he goes, like, Make some noise! The most dabs, we can give us up dabs. We always keep it fierce. That's never stopped! We have to wear Alrighty, so let me show you guys some more of the movie now that I finished my meal. Daddy, you scared me. 
<laughs> Daddy, you scared me. <laughs> this movie in a mukbang and I will see you in my next video don't forget to check out this movie it's super awesome and super creepy <laughs> all right guys see you in my next video bye bye